I'm in love. Is anyone else making this poor choice? <laughs> it's a living nightmare. I can't, and if you're like, Amy, like, how bad is it? Um, well, the other morning, I took out my phone calculator and I did the math on if we wanted to give each other a million kisses. <laughs> How many kisses per day is that for a decade? It's 273, if anybody else is on the verge of going into a mental institution. <laughs> 273, kiss them right now. Get one out of the way, there you go. 272 to go. Um, I didn't mean to fall in love, I fucked up. Um, <laughs> I fucked up really bad. I went on tour horny, I don't recommend it. I don't know if you all tour, you don't look that talented, but, <laughs> but I tour a lot and um, I forgot, like I live in LA, I forgot that out in the middle of the country they have all these men that are just like nice and they can fix stuff and they don't have podcasts. And <laughs> that's the story of how I ended up with a boyfriend in Omaha, fucking Nebraska, dude. <laughs> are you from Nebraska? Well, I'm fucking your cousin. He's, he's great. It's awesome. Nebraska, like, I, no shade, but like, I'm from Oakland, California. I didn't want landlocked penis in my life, you know? And isn't Nebraska sad for me specifically? Like, I, you just met me, but don't I look like the kind of woman that would have to go to Nebraska to find love? Um, I look like the mayor of Omaha, Nebraska. Don't awe me, I'll fucking kill you. I told you where I was from. <laughs> <laughs> it's so nice though, it's going well, but have you ever been with someone so fundamentally good that you become problematic? <laughs> because I'm with a straight man that will say shit to my face, like you're so beautiful and so talented and it's just an honor to be your boyfriend. And I'm like, that's fucking gay, dude. I don't know. <laughs> It's not okay, I know that. I do bully him like a closeted high schooler. I'm not well. <laughs> You've done a bad job as boyfriends so far. Um, I was in a really long relationship with someone that I think hated me. <laughs> I think he hated me. Uh, and every day I was just like, if I cook this, will you smile today? You know? No, it is sad, but don't worry. I only stayed with him for seven years, so it's good. <laughs> A lot of awing from you guys tonight. It's interesting. I, I just happy to be back in LA. I've, I've been on the road. I've been doing comedy in a lot of shitty little fucking towns. Are you familiar with shitty little towns in this country? Some of you are from some of them. Yeah. Some of you are definitely from some of them. If you're from a, just, just a little piece of shit little town in this country, just yell out the name of it. Just tell me what it's called. Owasco, Michigan. Owasco, Michigan? Owasso. Owasso. That sounds fucking terrible. <laughs> and how old were you when you got out? 18. 18? Oh, good for you. High school graduation, you were like, I'm done. What did you do there for fun in high school? Cow tipping. Cow tipping. <laughs> do you see, like, I'm not a coastal elitist, but sometimes they make the stereotypes themselves. I can't... <laughs> I'm not, though. I do love doing comedy in shitty little towns. You know why? There's nothing going on. If there's a comedy show happening, everyone's coming, okay? It saves them from another night in the Walmart parking lot. Um, <laughs> the only thing I don't like is that you can't get dinner after a show in these towns. Nobody warns you, either. And by the way, like, yeah, I, you don't get this body by not eating late at night, okay? But I also just don't like to perform after having dinner. Like, I don't want to come up here for you guys all full and farty, you know what I mean? Like, I want to be fresh, hungry for your approval. Um, <laughs> but you can't get dinner in these small little towns and nobody warns you, and they should. When you drive into a shitty little town, there should be an armed guard that's like, hey, you're not in trouble. Um, we just want to let you know, you're going to want to get all your food and alcohol before 10 p.m. You're going to be fucking pissed. And you're never coming back to Owasso, Michigan. Um, 
I wasn't warned. I was hungry. And it's when I came up with a theory that I think is pretty solid. Can I run a theory by you? <laughs> Are you smart people? Are you, where, anybody have a master's? Clap if you have a master's. Okay, yeah. PhD, anybody? Any doctors? In the, zero. Oh, one? Oh, but you were a little embarrassed? Okay, well, I'm proud of you, even if your mom's not. Um, <laughs> Okay, this is my theory. I think shitty little towns in this country where everything closes by 10 p.m. are the main cause of the opioid crisis. <laughs> Hear me out, you'll get on board. <laughs> Picture it, you're a hardworking American person, you know, you're, it's 10 p.m., you're like, I could really go for some fish and chips. <laughs> Maybe a fresh lemon wedge, you know? And everything's closed. So you're like, I guess I'll eat Oxycontin again. <laughs> it's another night to quiet the rumbling in my tummy. I'm not an expert. Um, I'm not a sociologist. I'm not a doctor. I did study sociology at Berkeley. That's pretty good. That's something. You don't care. I was the <laughs> I was the only person in the history of my family to ever go to college. And when thank you. I appreciate that. And when I was applying, my mom was like, this seems hard and expensive, and you're never gonna use it. And look. Um, <laughs> I'm working for clips, mom. Okay. Um, <laughs> So I'm not like a genius at this stuff, but I did study people. And I just think like, if a hardworking American man could get a fucking Reuben sandwich at midnight, maybe he wouldn't swallow Vicodin like there's Skittles every night. Okay. <laughs> this theory goes on, because it's a slippery slope from opiates to insurrection. Hear me out, okay. Mm -hmm. You're in Owasso, Michigan. You're already done cow tipping. It's 11 p.m. You're hungry. Everything's closed. You pop your pills. You get on Reddit. Now you're on 4chan. Next thing you know, you're on the Capitol steps. <laughs> what I'm saying is, give these racists a sandwich late at night. <laughs> Maybe they'll have a nice brisket before bed and be like, you know what? The Jews are okay, actually. I don't know. <laughs> They do have some good smoked meats. <laughs> I've been Amy Miller. You guys have been great. Thank you so much. Have a good night. Amy Miller, everyone. Let her hear it.